Madam Speaker, I rise to speak in support of this third reading of the Corrections Amendment Bill and um, applaud the work that's done um, in this bill and acknowledging the work that has gone in previously by the um, previous government towards developing some really practical tools to support um, those that are working within the corrections system. And I would take a moment to reflect on the fact that the people that work in the corrections system are not our enemy. They are absolutely working towards a rehabilitation process. They are absolutely committed to re turning around recidivist offending. And most importantly, when we give them additional powers, those additional powers are about supporting prisoner wellbeing. Right. That the easier and simpler ways of quelling violence and making other prisoners safe is critically important. And the fact that people are in prison is a, a, a range of reasons that occur through society and we are, as this government is committed to improving education outcomes, improving housing situations, improving our health system in order to contribute to these better social outcomes. So therefore we will continue to make sure that those who are working in the front line, those who are carrying the burden of um, making sure our society and the public are safe and protecting those victims, including the huge number of Māori victims who are the, the, the real victims in this process. It is the reality that these people are in prison because they have done harm and they need to be dealt with in a way that not only protects society but also enables them to have access to solid rehabilitation processes. These additional powers are important, the expanded rehabilitation rights are essential and therefore I take great delight on behalf of New Zealand First of commending this bill to the House. Yeah,